Hey there, James here again to uh, tell you about my 14 year anniversary of my kidney transplant, which is happening on December 16th of this year. Uh, I did a video last year for my 13th anniversary and I got a lot of questions, so I thought I'd cover some of those. Uh, first off I wanted to say is always double check your information you receive from anyone with your doctor, nurse, or medical care provider just to make sure you're getting accurate information. Uh, everyone has different uh, circumstances, so always, always double check. So in my case, uh, I had my transplant uh, from, uh, I received a, a kidney from my sister, Gail, on December 16th, 1999. And, you know, we're both doing great. Uh, she's, she's doing awesome. She has no, uh, there's no negative um, ramifications for donating. She's doing well. She can eat whatever she wants. She doesn't have to take any type of medications. She doesn't have any restrictions, uh, any type of restrictions for donating. So she's doing great to answer some of those people's questions uh, people had about that. Uh, for me, uh, before the, the transplant, my dietary restriction was pretty much pretty much everything. There's very few things you can eat when you're on a kidney um, failure diet, uh, end stage renal failure diet, I should say. And afterwards, I can pretty much eat anything I want. I have a few restrictions, uh, mostly for, you know, just for, you know, uh, safety reasons. Um, such as I can't eat any uncooked meats, uh, sushi, or um, um, things like that. Anything that might have a possibility of higher bacteria, shellfish in particular. Also uh, honey, I uh, can't have that. And I also have to avoid grapefruits. For, for grapefruits, it's, it counteracts one of my medications. So um, there's probably uh, one or two other things I have to avoid, but I know when I go to eat them that I can't have them, so I just avoid them. Um, physically, I don't have any real restrictions on what I can do. I just have to be careful. Uh, when, when you get a kidney transplant, they don't take out your old kidney, which are, or which are um, in your back behind, like by, right back here. Um, they actually put it in the front right around here. Um, so I have to avoid anything that could cause a trauma to that area. So, you know, I can't go skydiving or, you know, probably, you know, football, anything like that's just out. But other than that, I can pretty much do anything I want. Um, in regards to being around sick people, you, you know, you should always avoid someone who might have a cold or, or something that you could catch. Uh, for myself, I always wash my hands, you know, a lot more than the average person. Like when I go out or I get gas or, you know, I go to the grocery store, I always come home and wash my hands just as a precaution to avoid uh, catching anything. Um, other than that, uh, I haven't really been sick a whole lot, uh, you know, a couple times, but uh, for the most part, I've been pretty good uh, of not getting sick. And um, trying to think of the other questions people had. If you do have any questions, uh, please leave a, a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. I answer all the questions uh, on these videos to uh, make sure people, you know, can benefit from my experience. I actually had a friend who I met up through my last video who just got his transplant, I believe three to four weeks ago, and he's doing great. His name's Brian. Hi, Brian. How's it going? And so he's doing great. And if you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comments. and I'll be happy to answer them. I think I answered a lot of the questions people had. I just remembered I forgot one thing uh, in regards to my medications. I have to take uh, anti-rejection medication twice a day, every day for the rest of my life. It's about probably about 10 pills in the morning and six to eight pills at night. Uh, it's a small price to pay, but uh, you know, it keeps my immune system suppressed so that my kidney will function. But um, that's pretty much it for my medications. If you have any questions about those, please leave a comment. So here I am with my cat shampoo. She's uh, been my drug reminding cat. She reminds me to take my medications. Um, I've had it for 16 years now, so she's reminded me to do that over the last 14 years. She's getting a little older now and she's getting a little forgetful, and she's actually gone blind. So she has trouble uh, doing her job, but that's okay. We take care of each other. She took care of me, and I'm taking care of her. So that is uh, everything I have for now. But um, please leave a, a comment or a question, and I'll be glad to answer. Thanks. Bye. We're done, Shambles. Jump. Now you say your line. <laughs> now you say it. <laughs>